Hey, this is Bentley Boyens. This is my presentation on the Disney Dead Supreme blog. I decided to pick a Disney blog because it's something that I know a lot about um, and it brings me joy. So I figured why not do something that I like instead of something that I would dread. So something I like to do when I'm preparing for a trip is do a little bit of research before I get there. Um, And so that's kind of what this blog is about is to help people um, find their way through Disneyland. I also love being a dad, hence the name Disney Dad Supreme. My blog's a little bit different from other blogs because I put a little bit of dad spin on it. So there's my first daughter, and you'll see her a lot in the blog, and my wife, and you'll see her too. Uh, But they're a big part of my Disney journey. Not only do I use my dad spin, but I also use the spin of a cast member. Uh, So I was a cast member there for about a year, and so I know a little bit of the ins and outs. Here's a photo we took last year, uh, my daughter realizing that she's not going to be an only child for much longer. So uh, without further ado, here's the newest member of the family. She's enjoying some Star Wars Galaxy Z right there. But yeah, so there's my family, and I feel like that's kind of the important part of the blog is that I'm a dad who's trying to help his wife and kids have a great experience in the park and there's not many other blogs that are doing that they're just kinda out there selling you the experience so market research and competitive research over here on the right you'll see a couple uh, titles of blogs that you can easily find if you could do a quick google search Mickey visit Disneyland daily mice chat Um, But on the left there is a YouTube channel that I actually really like called Fresh Baked. So both Mice Chat and Fresh Baked kind of take the spin on the actual park and the construction and the rides and the events going on. They're there to kind of show you, hey, these are the things that are going on or this is the construction going on and kind of give you the lowdown on the park itself. Mickey Visit and Disneyland Daily do a little bit more of what I do, where they talk about more of the actual doing the park, so experiencing the park and all that it has to offer, and not only that, but they do give like tips and tricks on how to survive that Disneyland madness. So a lot of these blogs on the right here, Mickey Visit, Disneyland Daily, and Mice Chat, have already gained enough followers to where they get sponsorships so they're pretty packed with sales and promotions so there's always kind of a gimmick to all of their articles Um, they're always trying to sell you on something whereas mine it's just straight information and hopefully that will be valuable to my readers all right up next we have target market so the target market's kind of interesting because Um, I'm just kind of going after people who are kind of like me. So anyone 18 and over, um, I put males, but that doesn't mean it's specifically males. Just any kind of parent or guardian who is looking to take their kids to Disneyland and just not be weighed down by whether it's the long wait times or the huge crowds. Um, And not only that, but those who are beginners, because there's nothing more overwhelming than someone being like, hey, here's what you got to do, giving them all the advice where it's something that you should be able to just take in the information and be able to make your own decision. So I'm going to continue to kind of target those people. I know it's kind of a larger group, but I feel like it's really specifically geared towards um, parents and and those who are new to Disneyland and want to have that new fresh experience instead of feeling like uh, me on the right there. So let's check out the blog. So a disclaimer, I am using my phone here, so we'll see how it works out, but it's kind of interesting. This is the phone view of Disney Dad Supreme. So the main homepage is actually my about the blog page. So when you scroll on down here, I just kind of added a little bit of about me, just a quick paragraph, uh, and then added the most charming photo I could find so you would know you could trust my face. Uh, You can see here, got the uh, good old name tag on there, showing that it's official. And then I kind of scroll all the way down here. Uh, I threw in me the about about me video that we made. So uh, I feel like they kind of get that whole grasp on the blog and all that it entails.
And then down here at the bottom, I got the widgets, the follow, and then I added the YouTube video, which I thought was nice, but um, it's on every single page. And then at the bottom was the social media. So we'll go back up here to the top and click on menu. Hold on, my finger. was There we go. So menu, we got about the blog, we got posts, we got frequently asked questions, and then the follow page. So frequently asked questions is, is pretty basic. We already did the assignment, so it's the same answers. But um, scroll all the way to the bottom, and you got my widgets, the follow me, my YouTube, and my social medias. Um, so they're at the bottom of every single page, which I guess is okay. So next up, we'll go right over here to what the follow page looks like. So the follow page is just a quick paragraph explaining, hey, follow me. Um, and unfortunately on the mobile, it's a little different. You got to scroll down to the bottom, but on the website, you can just click a link on the right. It's always on the right. Finally, we have the actual posts for my page. For me, I really like just kind of scrolling down and on the actual website, there's a lot of kind of like blank space on the side. So it's really thin like it is here on the phone mode, uh, the mobile mode, excuse me. But uh, I really like it on the computer too because it's a nice soft blue, which is kind of like a Disney color. Um, but on my posts, I always like that uh, to add pictures. I think pictures are really important. It keeps the reader visually stimulated while they're kind of scrolling through. So if they see a picture they like, maybe they'll read it. Um, but yeah, we'll scroll back up here. Sorry if I'm going a little too fast. Just to show, there it is, my how-to video, how to navigate Disneyland like a pro. It's a quick little video where I was able to film on site. Besides that, I plan on advertising and kind of promoting my blog through uh, links and link building. I think that's really important. Maybe I'll reach out to some other blogs and ask them for a feature if I think it's something that would help their blog and help their viewers. Um, but I think those kinds of things are what I'm kind of shooting for with my blog is to be able to advertise my skills and my knowledge and how to market through the back end. Um, but besides that, I really enjoyed the experience of creating my own blog and uh, all the time and effort that it really takes to put into it. And if you really want it to succeed, you've got to create good content and have good design um, and do a lot of good research on specifically what you're going to write about and who you're going to write to. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I hope that you subscribe to the blog and if you're going to Disneyland, let me know. I'd love to help out.